Okay, everyone, back to my, oh, hi, Nina, my greenhouse tour. So today I'm going to be doing a bit of an update because things are looking pretty lush in here. And also I'm going to be doing a little bit of a plant um, kind of purge on Facebook. And I kind of wanted a, a place for people to come and see the plants if they wanted to get any just better kind of a better look at what they actually look like. So I thought it'd be a great time to do both those things. I need to seriously make room in here because I'm really pushing it. <laughs> There's just not a lot in here that I can put anymore. And I just have a lot of propagations that I have that I want to be able to put in here. So I definitely want to clear up some space. Also with this whole coronavirus quarantine, I am not working at one of my jobs. And I heard something today about my state closing its borders to other states. So <laughs> I don't know if I'm able to go to my other one either. So that's essentially where I'm at right now. But I'm also super excited to show you kind of updates because some of these were stubs for a long time. So it's really fun to be able to show you how they've grown. So I'll kind of just start with a section at a time and just go over which ones I will be selling. It won't be all of these plants. Some of these are my personal plants, like these three in the front. <laughs> so this, these were both stubs for a long time. This is my Anthurium papillolaminum, and this is my Dark Mama. So very beautiful. But I'm really happy to have these both back they're just both extremely gorgeous. And I will definitely be having more Anthuriums come up that I will be selling. Like this little one here is not ready for sale. She is a propagation and she just grew this leaf for me. So a very successful one at that. But I wanted to grow more roots before I sell them. I never want to sell a plant that just isn't ready to go out into the world. But I'll start over here. So this one in the corner, was sold to me as an Anthurium pseudospectabilis, and it is one I will be selling. I really just don't have a place for this one, and I have a lot of other ones, like this Pelodiflorum that I recently purchased that I would love to get really big. That's super, super beautiful. But I'm definitely excited for new leaves on this one. It is not a good shipper, by the way. It came with a few other leaves, and they just totally just snapped off in shipment, which is really unfortunate. So this you haven't seen before, it is an Anthurium erisa clamoides, and it is a new one of mine. It's one I will be keeping. It's actually a really compact climber. Very, very cute. It has this new leaf here. I can properly pull her out, <laughs> but uh, just the cutest little thing. I love just how compact it is. Very, very nice. So this Anthurium Regale over here is one that I will be selling. I just have a few other Regales and I don't need this many, <laughs> to be honest. So I'd rather this one go to a good home. He's a really cute guy. And back here is my Anthurium Crystallinum. This is my personal pet. And I bought it with these two leaves here. And it's since pushed out this really big guy. Pretty much as soon as I put it in here after purchasing it, I really, really love this greenhouse. It's just simply amazing. Just so beautiful. Oh, and never knew of you have probably ever met this girl before. This is Juliet. Hello, girl. So she used to be my basement cat, but I now I make her live upstairs. <laughs> yeah, good girl. Right? Yeah, you're cute. So story behind that is she really hates my other cats. And <laughs> that's why she lived downstairs. So finally, I was able to attain an Anthurium crystallinum. This one I got from my friend Miles, and I'm so lucky that he decided to sell it because I honestly thought I was never gonna be able to get one with how fast they sold out. But funny enough, like not long after, Enid actually posted about some <laughs> red crystallinum seedlings. So, oh God, 
I can properly show you this little guy. I have also a seedling in there. So I don't even mind that I have two. I love them. I have a habit of collecting plants that I just really like, so. <laughs> and in this corner here is one of my dark queens that I will be selling. She actually is growing in this leaf right now, but she's pretty big. So she has a bunch of leaves. I just have a lot of queens and I like propagating my queens. So it just, I end up with a bunch, but yeah. She's super healthy, super gorgeous. Definitely sad to see this one go, but I just can't keep all the queens in the world. Right, girl? She's like, yeah, I understand. And I would like to, for her to go to a good home. But gosh, like that velvety sheen. It's the best part about these anthuriums. <laughs> oh, and on this row, I did forget to mention, this is an anthurium dressleri, which I am super honored to have. It's one I actually purchased from Jay Benini a few months back and he finally sent it over to me. So basically it was, it needed to be rooted. <laughs> so I'm very lucky that after contacting him that he was able to get me some wonderful plants. I'm super excited to see just how that grows. I know it's just gonna be absolutely gorgeous. So over here, we have one of my plants, which was a stub, my Anthurium baloanum, which has just grown this leaf. It's still rooting, so it's not one I plan to put for sale anytime soon yet. And the others are still stumps, except for this queen here. And the reason her leaf is like this is totally my fault. So when it was growing, it got stuck. This pot was, it's obviously way too tall for it. And it got stuck in there. So it just kind of ripped, unfortunately. But yeah, so I will put this one for sale too. Really cute though, that color is beautiful. And this one, I believe, was a stump last time too, if I remember correctly. And this is my Doriaki Crystallinum Hybrid. I don't think I will be selling this one, but I do have another one that I will be selling. It's just not in my greenhouse. And then down here, I do have some queens I will be selling. I have this one here, this lovely lady. I was actually debating on keeping her because I just really love her color and her leaf shape. And she just looked very elegant. <laughs> so it's kind of sad to part with it. But honestly, I have so many queens. I'm just gonna go to my plant room and show you guys which, plain, which queens that I'm keeping just to kind of show you like, okay, yeah, there's obviously a ton of queens and you don't need any more. <laughs> and then this is another queen that I'm gonna be selling. Really beautiful. And this one is also a dark queen as well as this one. So this one here is in a bit of a rehab at the moment, I probably just won't be selling her just because I want her to do a little better before I ship her out. I'm not in the kind of habit of selling rehabs, unfortunately, because I want these plants to succeed and I don't want them to die on people, so. <laughs> and back here, I have an Anthurium crystallinum that I will be selling. So the big one stays, but this one I will be willing to let go of. My Munenii back there is still rooting, so he has yet to produce me another leaf but he's going strong. <laughs> Angamarcanum here. I have another Angamarcanum, but this one I will be selling. Just look at that velvetiness. So pretty. This is the Rehab Queen. She's not going anywhere. Um, I do have a small Vici eye that I will be selling here. Trying to get a good angle on him. Little baby guy. And then this queen as well who had a bit of an unfurling accident. Just has stunning veins though. So beautiful. And then this guy here. So he's like this where he <laughs> with his leaf because he's kind of too low to the ground and he's really reaching for the light that's all the way up here. But this is my Anthurium Magnificum. And I do have a bunch of these guys as well. So I'm just gonna be selling this off 
because I don't need this many. I don't know why I do that. A bad habit, I suppose. He's also flowering. <laughs> and then this domino over here, for the longest time, just had these leaves that were messed up. He's actually budding a new leaf here. And this is his newest leaf. I go back and forth on whether I'm selling him. I love the domino because it's round. It's really, really cute. But I don't know. I just don't know. Like, I have a lot of plants. I don't know if I have quite the place for this one. But such a stunner. This new leaf just came out gorgeous. And <laughs> this one over here, the new leaf he's producing is certainly not going to fit in here. So, <laughs> but honestly, if I don't sell him now, what I might end up doing, because I would like to get like at least one of these out there to you guys, is just propagate him and then kind of, and then sell more of him at a later date. Because I just honestly never see this one around. It was one I specifically asked for from a seller and it was not cheap. Oh no. I wouldn't even sell it for the price I bought it for, which I'm not telling you. And then this is one of my locks of plant seller unboxing plants that I was going to get rid of initially. It had a really bad acclimation time, but it has since stabilized. I thought it was going to die. <laughs> this is my philodendron alchaco red and it's been growing beautifully. You can see it has really just gorgeous red undertones in the leaves. My camera just does not do this justice. Let's see. Beautiful though. I debate on selling this one like constantly because I want an El Chaco red <laughs> and I have a couple of these but the other ones just I haven't thrived like this one does honestly that's the worst part about like kind of buying plants from like the orchid shows is that they don't really come with the best set of roots just look at those leaves though everyone should want this plant <laughs> like how crazy is that oh I do have a smaller one that I'm definitely selling, and I'll probably sell that one too, to be honest. But this one has two leaves. The other one's just tucked away back here. But he recently put out this one, which is really, really beautiful. And next to him is actually my Magnificum Dark. So he's a plant I plan on keeping. Just look at that sheen, oh my God. I die whenever I see this greenhouse and I just look at him. He hasn't lost his sheen. I thought it was gonna be like something where he'll grow out of it, but no, he's just keeping it. I don't know what's going on, but he's looking good. Looking real sexy. <laughs> and Philip is crying out the door. Hello, Phil. Would you like to enter? You must come in because Chris is playing Battlefront and that's loud. I feel sick. What are you gonna do? What's your decision? Yo. No, he decides to leave. He cries to the door and then decides to leave. There, girl. All right. She's like, no, it's girl, girl, why? All right, <laughs> so where was I? This lovely creature is my Anthurium clarinervium, which was ravaged by thrips over this winter. <laughs> and this is uh, the new leaf and the only leaf she currently has because I just couldn't save her. And at the time I didn't know how to get rid of them. Now I do, which is great, but that happened. <laughs> So over here is my Anthurium Selby Silver. I recently purchased this one from, from the Plantier, which is a Chicago-based shop. Initially, I didn't like how compact it grew. And then eventually I was like, you know what? It's a different looking Anthurium. I should just get it. 
I still kind of have mixed feelings about it, but it's definitely grown on me. I like how different it looks. Like, it's just a, it's such a different leaf shape. Very cute. So I'll give her all these because some of these are just like new acclimation plants. <laughs> and the reason why some of these look really bad is because I didn't put them in the greenhouse right away. And if you get an anthurium shipped during winter, you can pretty much guarantee it's going to like shrivel up if you don't give it ideal conditions. And my kitchen was not an ideal condition and I left it there overnight. So there's a few in here that looked a bit jacked up, <laughs> like this one in the back. So here's another El Chaco Red, who I'm not gonna sell yet because I want him to push out some more leaves. This is his original leaf, which he hasn't lost, but I would prefer for him to be much more healthy. So I know he's been rooting, but I want him to do a lot more. <laughs> and over here we have my Crystallina Magnificum, which I will be selling just a really pretty plant who loves to take up lots of space but yeah really cute and over here these perlite anthuriums i'm gonna be i have a video that i'm making about them i'm gonna have a little series about anthurium propagation specifically stem propagation and um yeah this is kind of my perlite experiment and it's going really, really good. So I can't wait to show you all that. It'll probably be out sometime next week. There might be a secondary video this week, but I haven't decided quite yet. Things haven't calmed down yet <laughs> since having the quarantine. So I haven't had an excess of time to do that stuff. Honestly, I can't remember the names of these plants though. One is a Brownie-Eye Chamberlainii hybrid and they're both growing, so I'm super, super excited about that. These are both plants I really loved and I was super sad. They were stuck in customs for two weeks, so thought they were dead, decided to propagate them, and here they are, just looking ever so nice. Also, this baby is a propagation too, which I have a video about. It's a different kind than the perlite, but Look how tiny this anthurium is. It's so silly. <laughs> Cat at the door. So sad. So very sad. Girl, what are you doing? Cat life, really though. Also, I think I had these silver ladies in my greenhouse in my last video. But I totally ran out of room in here, so they're just sitting outside of it at the moment. They are fully rooted though, so I need to go ahead and plant these, but ugh, they're so cute. I might have some to sell in the future, but I definitely want it to be more of an established plant and one that I can take cuttings from <laughs> without worrying about the totality of the plant itself. So over here is my Radicans Dresslary Hybrid. And this one... <sighs> I don't know. I debate on selling. So it had a bad thrip issue. I cleared that up. It's perfectly fine now. But, and I have another one and I decided to keep that one because that one was such a fuller plant, but it recently pushed out this leaf, which is so big and so luxuriant like and beautiful that I'm like, oh, I should just keep it, right? I don't know. What do you guys think? I'm feeling like this one's so big. It's so cool. But yeah. <laughs> and then there's a plant back here that I'm selling. I'm gonna try to zoom in on that. This is my Anthurium Silver Blush. And yeah, so that was one that is going. And back here, um, I will be taking pictures of these plants too. But this is a, a little tiny Anthurium Ace of Spades, and I'll be selling him. And I think that's all in here that I'm going to sell. I have more plants that I will be selling that just aren't in the greenhouse. But let's see, what else didn't I show you? So I got my Melanocrides in here. It's really hard to fit a camera in here. <laughs> so he's doing well. My QTQNC lost like lost part of its leaf during acclimation, but I mean, he's fine. He's just 
doing his acclimation thing. And yeah, so I won't go over the stubs again because you kind of know what that is. <laughs> but here are my beautiful plants. Hopefully you saw some in here that you like. And if you are interested in any of these plants, particularly the ones that I mentioned will be for sale, you can go check out the Facebook group, which is called Time to Splurge and Purge BST. And I will go ahead and link it in the description. I think you have to request to become a member. So I would request sooner rather than later so that you have time before the sale hits. And I really hope you enjoyed this greenhouse tour. If you like this video, please give it a like. Please subscribe if you want to see more content. And thank you so much for watching. I love all of you and I appreciate all of you. And thank you so much.